All right, so the website to go to is metamask.io. It's available on Chrome, iOS, and Android, so you can have this on your phone. You can see all the supported browsers over here, Google Chrome, Firefox Brave, and even Microsoft Edge. I've actually never tried it on this. So simply install that. It gets installed as an extension on your browser. So you can just, in this case, add it to Chrome. And there we go, MetaMask has been added to Chrome. Once you have that installed, you just click Get Started. You can either set this up with a secret recovery phrase, which is the 12 words that you're given when you set up a new wallet, or you can start a new one. So while I do have wallets I could add to this, for the purpose of this video, we're going to create a wallet. On the next page, you're prompted to help improve MetaMask by opting in on providing some information just so they can gather all their data. And in this case, I'm going to say no thanks because I'm just not interested in that. Now you get the option to create a new password. So we're going to do that now. As always, good password practice is to have an uppercase, lowercase, number, symbol combination and just mix things up as much as you can. I mentioned the secret recovery phrase earlier and over here there's a nice video that they have put as part of the installation. Basically your secret recovery phrase is a 12 word key phrase that is essentially the master key to your wallet and funds. Okay, It looks kind of like what they have displayed on screen and you have to save those uh, words and just write them down somewhere. Uh, here they're recommending putting in a bank vault, a safety deposit box or writing that down and keeping the secrets in multiple places. Okay, I don't personally like the idea of a password manager because I mean if any hack happens again, your money is gone. So never ever share that with anyone. As soon as you get that, you just want to keep it as secure as possible. Remember where you kept it. That's also important because um, there are numerous cases of people who have gotten locked out of their own wallets. I've been brought over to this page, okay? This is where I'm going to click to reveal the secret words. Again, they're stressing this out and they also say you should memorize this because they're actually going to test you. And now I've clicked on it, you can see the words and they're all there, okay? So I'm expected to memorize this. So uh, just for the purpose of this video, and this is typically not how it should happen, but I'm gonna create a notepad, okay? And we're just gonna paste this out here. And the reason we're doing this is because they're gonna test me to make sure that I did this and I kept it here. And I don't care about this wallet, I'm only creating it for the purpose of this video, but let's go along with it. So there we go. And so here they want me to confirm that I actually noted everything down. So I have to put all the phrases in order. So fold, swim, civil, fork. Tattoo, soda, jungle, erupt. Trip, defense, vote, reject. Ha! Ah, confirm! Congratulations, you passed the test. Oh boy. Oh boy, what did I get? We're all done now and we have access to our wallet. New feature, MetaMask is now making transactions easier to read. Adding more insights on the data tab, so things you want to check when you are sending transactions and all. But yes, this is MetaMask. This will be your gateway to uh, DeFi stuff pretty much, okay? You have the name of your account over here, clicking on it copies your wallet address and you can see the wallet address right here. If you need additional information, uh, you can view your account details. This will show you your account number again, what we just copied to clipboard or if you want to use a QR code, which you know, if you're tech savvy, if it's, it's nice. Yeah, so you use a QR code, you can view it on Etherscan. And you can also export your private keys. Never ever give anyone your private keys. So if you're doing this, you're essentially handing over your wallet. We can rename this. Okay, so we're gonna name this test wallet for video. And that's the new name. As it stands, we are on the Ethereum mainnet. But just so you guys know, you can also add different networks so if we wanted to add say the Binance Smart Chain um, Phantom Network if you want to add Avalanche would simply do this okay I'd go over here to Google I will type uh, which one should we do let's do Avalanche blockchain 
So I will type the Avalanche blockchain and I'll do MetaMask. And it immediately pops up. How do I set up MetaMask on Avalanche? Head on over there. We'll get to this page and they're just telling us what to do. Now bear in mind, mine looks this way because I'm viewing it in full screen. Otherwise I'd have it as a drop down from the extension toolbar over here. Okay, so we go custom RPC and we just want to put in all this information. So the network name, we're going to copy that. We're going to put that here, paste. We'll go back, we'll take the next thing. This is exactly what you need to do guys. Just copy and paste. Just copy and paste. Chain ID. Put that in there. And then we want symbol. AVAX. It's optional actually to put this. And then we save. And now we have the Avalanche Network added over. And this way, if I wanted to do business on the Avalanche Network, I can simply switch to the network over here at the top and then copy this address. And the person who I'm sending that address to will be able to send anything on the Avalanche Network over to this wallet. Now, just to show you again, because I know some people will be like, hey, but why didn't you show it? So there we go. It's already in the search. Binance Smart Chain MetaMask. Connecting MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain. And then we open that up and it'll be the same setup okay you scroll all the way down you copy the network name the rpc url chain id symbol and that and then you have that in there okay the reason i'm showing this is because in future videos you're going to need metamask to do a lot of stuff that i'm, I'm going to be showing and if you want to follow along this is what you need to have. This is where all the action in DeFi is, people. This is where all the airdrops are coming. So get to downloading this. This is not a referral thing. This is just something you should have, okay? Uh, people use Trust Wallet. I'm not a fan. MetaMask is better. MetaMask is just more compatible with everything. I mean, literally everything. So if you're new to MetaMask, I really hope you found value, especially in the fact that you can have pretty much all the other blockchains running through this and use one wallet, quote unquote, one wallet to do all your tasks. And so if this is giving you ideas about more ways to use MetaMask, I'd really appreciate it if you wrote that down in the comments so I'll exactly know. That said, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like. If you want to stay tuned and join our Zero to a Million project, hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of stuff coming and uh, MetaMask is just going to be the gateway to help us get there. So be sure to share this video if you know anyone who needs it. I used to think everyone already used MetaMask. I was wrong. So I hope this helped someone. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned.